this video is to show you how to do the moving um, the harmonic finger up and down the strings of the violin in the um, colour strings exercises. So we're just doing the D string exercise. Um, the rhythm for the D string exercise is um, just eight tar beats. So we get them to do that just with um, a normal open string bow. It's a chance to really check the bow holes. So when we're t checking the bow hold, what we're aiming for is we have a bent thumb, okay? So nice relaxed hand, um, and we want the fingers sort of curved, naturally curved over, okay? And they bend the thumb a little extra bit, and we fit it in the, um, the wood bit between the binding and um, the heel of the bow. So floppy hand, relaxed, bent thumb, put the bent thumb, it sort of ends up at about 45 degrees, it's hard to see there, um, 45 degrees to the stick when it's bent, okay? And then flop the fingers over and the wood of the bow, um, the wood of the stick should sort of sit in the um, creases of these joints. So if you can see here, okay? Then the pinky is bent and goes on top. All right, so if they're wanting to hold and have their fingers too straight, um, that will control, try, try to control the bow too much and they end up with a straight thumb. So bend the thumb, fingers flop right over, pinky bends and goes on top. Okay, so that's a nice release bow hold. So that's what you're looking for when we're doing, so we put the bow on the string at the balance points, the hand's nice and loose, and we can get the fingers flopped over. If the fingers aren't flopping over, it might be that the elbow's dropping and it pulls the fingers back to be straight. So bring the elbow up so it's in line with the wrist and the knuckles, um, so it's, and slightly um, curve the fingers over, all right? So then we do um, t eight tar strokes. One, two, three, four, Now the movement is going to be between having the hand at the end of the neck here and having the hand um, at the halfway position. So first off we start um, by doing a cable car movement. So put the bow down, hold the violin in the correct playing position and I'm going to swing round so that you can see here. Okay, And the thumb points up and the base of the nail um, is sort of in line with the where the black line meets the finger board. So thumb pointing to the sky, base of the nail in line with the black line and they very gently just slide the thumb up. So the thumb stays passive and it's just the elbow that is closing and opening and the fingers stay passive too. So the thumb comes up, it takes the fingers with them and thumb goes back down again. So the elbow is just opening and closing. The temptation will be to do, there'll be a lot of movement. It just needs to be passive, okay? So the violin weight's held by the other hand. The bottom of the thumbnail's in line with the um, black line of the neck. And we just move the hand really gently and really back. And the thumb is just stroking the side of the neck. Um, so that's the cable car. So this is um, the cable car line needs to be facing upwards and the fingers of the passengers going up. So we take the cable car up to um, the thumb going underneath the neck of the violin and we're going to be using the ring finger, we call this the third finger, to play a halfway harmonic. So they put the finger over the sticker that's at the halfway harmonic and either they do the bow or you can do the bow for them. You need quite a fast bow to get a nice ringing sound. Then support the weight of the violin and we take the cable car back down again and then we hover the same finger, the ring finger, over the green sticker. And when we hover it there and we use this another fast bow, we will get another harmonic note which is two octaves higher than the open string. This is the open string. Halfway you'll get an octave higher and at this point, which is actually the quarter way across the string, you get a two octave high, okay? So it's the same finger. So we take that out of the 
um, exercise separately. We do, um, the children can have a go at um, finding the top harmonic and finding the bottom harmonic while you do the bow for them. Then they can start taking over the bow and if you just support the weight of the scroll so that the hand can move between the two positions. Um, we say that the one down at the bottom of the neck is the birdie one. And then when they move up to the halfway point, that's the sunshine. Okay, so the pattern of these eight beats is going to be normal open string, rest the finger on the green spot for the birdie, move the hand up to the halfway point, and we do two sunshines. Then during the next open string, the hand moves back down again, rest it over the green spot, and then go up in the cable car, and the top two. So while they're learning the logistics of it, the pulse might not be very steady, um, but as they get better, try and encourage them to move with a steady beat. It may be very slow. Um, I would suggest at all times, hold the scroll so that they're not having to support that. Um, and then when they feel ready, they can do, so even though you're supporting the scroll, they can do the whole pattern. So the whole pattern would go open string, birdie, sun, sun, open string, birdie, sun, sun. And you see how the move up comes between the birdie and the sun. The move back down comes while we're doing the open string um, bow. Okay, so um, it's a quite complicated technical exercise. There's lots to it. We're checking the fingers flopping over on the bow hold, living um, in the creases of those fingers to get a nice bow tone. Harmonics won't work without a good bow tone. Um, we are checking that the um, hand is free to move between the positions. We're checking that the finger is curved when it's touching the strings lightly and they're being able to listen and position their string, their finger in the correct place. So there's a lot going on. It can be quite frustrating. Take it apart into the little individual sections. If, it, if you just do eight beautiful bows with a lovely curved fingers and a bow stroke, that's fine for that practice. And then, um, you know, maybe then just experiment with the harmonics in another practice and then try and put them together as the week progresses. Good luck.